In this video, this is my full and complete tutorial and review of Femix Exchange. I'm going to show you how to put in a stop loss, how to use the sub accounts feature, which is unique for Femix, and also how to use zero fee trading on spot. I'm gonna go through all of these features step by step, and if you think that that sounds interesting, then I think that you should definitely watch the video. Hello guys and welcome to the moon. My name is Carl and I am here to bring you this tutorial and review of Femix Exchange. So Femix is a derivatives platform. You can trade altcoins and Bitcoin with leverage. But what makes Femix a little bit special is that on Femix, you can also do spot trading. Femix, they call themselves the fastest cryptocurrency and derivatives exchange. And throughout this tutorial and review, you will realize that this website is very, very fast. Not only can Femix handle over 300,000 transactions per second, which is more than most competitors, but the website is very, very fast and it loads very quickly, which of course helps the user experience. All right, let's start off with the first step, registering an account. And the first thing you wanna do is scroll down below this video and here you will find my affiliate link to Femix. If you use my specific link, you will be given a $200 bonus after depositing at least 0.2 Bitcoin. A disclaimer here is that if you click my link, then you receive a bonus and I receive a bonus. You don't have to use this link if you don't want to, but if you want $200 bonus and if you want to support the channel, click this link and then you will end up on this screen. Just enter your email, your password, and the invitation code will be automatically filled in here. Then you just click continue here. You will see this pop-up saying that you are getting a seven-day premium trial and keep watching this video because later in this video i'm going to show you exactly what this femix premium is but for now you can just click claim now all right now let's get right into the tutorial and how to trade on this platform and first a disclaimer this video is not meant for beginners this video is meant for experienced traders who are looking for a new platform remember that trading is very very risky and another disclaimer is that this video is not sponsored I have an affiliate link down below and something that many people often ask about is the welcome bonus now on this website they will tell you that you get $80 and that is true however if you use my specific link you will be given a $200 bonus because I personally reached out to Femix and I asked them can you please give my community something special and well they told me for sure you will be given the biggest bonus possible out there this is only for you guys watching this tutorial and the way you get this bonus is by depositing at least 0.2 Bitcoin or 2000 US dollar tether or 10 ether. Here are the terms and conditions for this bonus. Pause the video and read them through. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to deposit Bitcoin and altcoins and how to start trading. And if you have any questions to me, I will not only read all of your comments, but I will actually answer every single one of your comments down below. So if you have any questions to me, leave them down below right now. All right, let me show you how to deposit. If you click assets up here, then you will come to this page to deposit Bitcoin on Femix. Just click deposit here to deposit Bitcoin. You can deposit uh, Cardano, you can deposit Ethereum, Chainlink, or whatever you want to deposit. And you will see that I currently have one Bitcoin in this account. And you can see that it's currently in my spot wallet. Over here, you can see contract trade account. If I click here, you will see that I have uh, close to zero Bitcoin and zero US dollar. And this might seem very complicated and confusing, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how all of this works. If you are enjoying this video so far, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. Let's see if we can push this video all the way up to 5,000 likes together. All right, but to explain this, I wanna go over to the contract trading, uh, trading view here. And if we click up here to select market, we get the spot markets here. And these spot markets, they are all settled in US dollar tether. So to trade these spot pairs, you have to deposit US dollar tether. And here you can see this little zero fees badge. I'm gonna talk more about that uh, in just a couple of minutes. But first, scroll down here, we can see contract markets or derivative markets. We have Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Chainlink, 
Tezos, Litecoin, and Gold. Very interestingly is that they have gold for derivatives trading. They also have Chainlink. And this makes Femix unique because Femix is currently the only derivatives exchange in crypto that provides gold derivatives trading. But now to the point, the Bitcoin against US dollar pair is actually settled in Bitcoin. But if you go to Ethereum against the US dollar, it's settled in US dollar. XRP is also in US dollar. So all of these altcoins and gold, they are settled in USD, while Bitcoin is settled in Bitcoin. So remember this and let's go back to the previous page. We go back there by clicking assets. We click right there. And now we're back here. So the spot wallet is for spot trading. And if we click again here on contract trading, we can see that we have zero balance in our Bitcoin account. Well, if you want to trade the Bitcoin against the US dollar pair, then you have to fund this Bitcoin account. So I just click here and let's say I want to fund it with 0.1 Bitcoin. I click confirm and there you go. Now the balance is 0.1 and I can start trading Bitcoin. If I want to trade Ethereum or gold, I have to fund my US dollar account. It is currently zero. So the same goes here. Click fund USD trade account. And let's say we want to fund it with another 0.1 Bitcoin. We have to actually click get quotation here to get the conversion rate. And uh, then you just click confirm. And there you go. Now I have 0.1 Bitcoin in my US dollar account and 0.1 Bitcoin in my Bitcoin account. And this Bitcoin came from the spot wallet. So now my spot wallet only has 0.84 Bitcoin left. I hope I didn't make that uh, very confusing. But let's now go back to contract trading. Now you can choose any pair here because we funded our account uh, which is needed for trading. All right, let's get right into it. Let me now show you how to do spot trading on Femix. This is the trading view. You, get, you have the chart here. You have the order book, recent trades over there. And if you go up here, you can select different markets. Now we're going to take a look at the spot markets and we're going to trade with zero fees because we are using the premium membership. Now, here you have the different uh, markets. You have Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Chainlink. And let's say we want to trade Bitcoin right now on spot. Well, you can buy and sell. To sell Bitcoin here, you need to make sure that you have available Bitcoin in your balance. And to buy Bitcoin, you need to make sure that you have available US dollar tether in your balance. Let's say I want to sell Bitcoin here. Let's say I want to sell uh, $100 worth of Bitcoin. I can just click sell Bitcoin. And that's basically it. Remember, you need a premium account to do spot trading. Now, let's go from spot trading into derivatives trading down here at contract markets. So let's say we want to trade Bitcoin. Now, let's click right there. That will take us to this screen. Very similar. You have the chart over here. You have the order book right there. And here is where the magic happens. You can buy long or you can sell short Bitcoin here on leverage. Now, this is very, very simple. Now, let's say you want to long $1,000 worth of Bitcoin here. The order value will be 0.0974 Bitcoin. Our available balance is currently 0.1. Remember, if the available balance is zero here, then you cannot trade. In that case, you have to click assets up here and you go over to this page and you have to click contracts trade accounts. You need to fund this Bitcoin account to be able to trade derivatives on Femix. But let's go back to this page. Um, so I already have 0.1 Bitcoin in this available balance. And let's say I want to long here. Well, I also have to decide how much leverage I want to use. Uh, usually I would suggest you don't use too much leverage because the more leverage, the more risk, of course. So if I push 10x leverage here, you will see that the cost is approximately 10% of the quantity that we're using up here. If I use 2x, for example, you will see that the cost is now 0.05 bit. Why is that? Well, it doesn't matter uh, if you change the leverage because the quantity here is always going to be the same. The only thing that is different is the amount of margin or the cost that you need to put up with to open up this position. So the higher the leverage, the lower the cost. Important to understand here is that cost does not mean fee. What you're paying here is not a fee. It's just the margin used from your wallet to open up this position. This is margin that belongs to you. You are not paying this to Femix. So let me be clear, this is not a fee. 
I don't really like that they use the word cost because it sounds like you're actually paying them. I'm going to talk more about the actual fees later in this video. The fees are very, very low. Uh, this would be far too high. Big disclaimer, the higher the leverage, the higher the risk. Because the higher the leverage, the closer the liquidation price will be to your entry price. So we will stick down here to 5x and this will cost us 0.02 Bitcoin to open up this position. The position will be worth a thousand contracts. So let's click right there. So you will see this is the margin that will be taken from our wallet and uh, the position will be worth 0.1 Bitcoin approximately. And the price of Bitcoin is currently approximately 10,000, which means that uh, this position is going to be worth approximately 0.1 Bitcoin. And here comes the very important part. The estimated liquidation price is right down here at 8,582. And this is the distance to the liquidation price. Make sure that you are aware of the risks here. Because if the Bitcoin price goes down to the liquidation price, then you lose your position and your position is liquidated. This is why you should always use a stop loss. And that's why we go down here. First off, we can use a take profit. You can uh, take, let's say we want to take profits at $12,000, then that's fine. You can also come down here and click stop loss. This is very important. I suggest that you always put in a stop loss above or below the liquidation price depending on if you're shorting or if you are longing. Now we are longing in this position and the liquidation price is below 9,000. So I'm going to put a stop loss at 9,000 which means that there is no way I can get liquidated because the, the Femix engine here will stop me out of my trade before that happens. So this is very, very important. You don't want to get liquidated. That will cost you a lot of money. Make sure to always put in a stop loss every time you open up a trade. All right, let's click confirm here. And this means we're now in this trade. All right, if we, if we go down a little bit here, you can see Bitcoin USD. This is our position size, 1,000 contracts. Uh, the value is uh, approximately 0.1 Bitcoin. This was our entry price. This is the current price. This is the liquidation price. Very, very important yet again. And this is the margin that was used to put up with this um, position, which is worth approximately 200 US dollars uh, because this was a 5x leverage. And as you can see here, if you take $200 times five, you get the position size of a thousand contracts. This is the whole mechanism of leverage trading. Over here, you can see your unrealized profit and loss. So basically, if your position is currently at a loss or in a profit, and here you will see your realized profit and loss. So if you take profits, let's say I um, market sell a part of this position, I can click here, I can market sell 100 contracts here. And if I were to do that, then you can see that now the uh, realized uh, profit and loss changed a little bit. Basically, if you take profits, you will see the profits in here. You can also use the limit order to uh, exit your position here if you want to. Remember that limit orders are always recommended because the fees are lower. Um, if you use market order, you have to pay. If you use the limit order, you actually get paid by Femex to put in the order because you're helping to provide liquidity. You basically get a rebate. So I urge you all to use the limit order as much as possible at all times. Something else that is very cool with Femex is that if you go up to this chart, which is from trading view here, you can actually take this stop loss and you can drag it up like this. Let's say you want to put your stop loss all the way up here at 9.6k then drag and drop and you can see here order amend may execute there you go stop loss is accepted you can actually change this this is very very convenient just drag and drop and you just click here don't show again confirm and now you can just drag and drop and now that you don't see the confirmation message you can just drag and drop up and down here and your stop loss will be changed and this works the same for take profits and all kind of limit and uh, conditional orders let me show you let's say we do a limit order here let's say we want to buy bitcoin or let's say we want to sell bitcoin at 10,500 uh, we want to sell a thousand contracts and we want to use uh, 3x leverage and we click sell here. It's going to cost us 0.003. And once again, if I put 10x here, we're going to pay less, but we were gonna, we're going to have higher risk because the liquidation price will be closer to our position. Let's stick with 3x. Let's click sell short. Let's review this order and then you click confirm. And now if we scroll up here, you can see that we have a sell order up here at 10,500. Let's say we want to pull this up to 11,000. Just put it up there and there you go. Now we're going to sell this 
position at $11,013 approximately. All right, so that is how you long and short Bitcoin on this exchange. All right, let's say we want to trade Ethereum. Let's go down here, contract markets, Ethereum against the US dollar. Now, let's say we want to um, put a position of $500 worth of Ethereum and we want to use 5x leverage. Well, we can see here that the quantity is $500, the cost is $163. And once again, they say cost here, but, it, but it's not a fee. This is not something that you have to pay. This is just the margin that you need to put up with to uh, have this position. So uh, it's not a fee. You will get this money back if you close the, the position. And let's say we want to short Ethereum when Ethereum hits $400. And also very important is to click post only. This makes sure that this order will not be executed against market. In other words, this makes sure that this limit order will remain a limit order. Sometimes if you don't have this uh, here, your limit order might be executed against market and that means that you will have to pay a fee. Remember, the point of limit orders is to get the rebate. You get paid to put up this position. All these limit orders, they will end up in the order book here and they will wait to get filled. The market order will simply just execute against market. All right, let's click sell short and then we click confirm. And there we go. Now we have a Ethereum position here, a Ethereum short position. And you can see here unrealized profit and loss. And you can now see here that this position is currently up $1.5 approximately. And the liquidation price is $386. And if you want to close this position, you can click limit to close with a limit order, or you can click market to close with a market order. All right, guys, now to the fun stuff. Let's talk about these sub accounts because this is something that many people have problems with. It is a little bit complicated, but I'm going to show you a step-by-step, -step, very easy tutorial here. All right, so you can see here that I currently have one long position in Bitcoin. On other exchanges, you need to open up a new account with a new email to be able to open up another long or another Bitcoin short. Of course, you can have several altcoin positions open, but you cannot have two different Bitcoin positions open at the same time on most exchanges. But on Femix, it is actually possible. If you scroll up to your name here and click uh, switch accounts, you can see here that I have my main account here, and then I have two sub accounts. And if I click these sub accounts, I will be able to trade more positions in Bitcoin than just one. And I'm going to show you how to open these up. So you click sub accounts here and over on this page, you can open up to 20 sub accounts. Just click add sub accounts. There you go. Now I have another sub account and I can also click settings here. I can change the nickname of this. Let's say I want to name this uh, BTC long, then I can just confirm. And now I have another sub account called BTC long. Now in these sub accounts, you can see that I have no Bitcoin. I have zero balance in all of them. But in my main account, I have 0 0.84 Bitcoin. I basically have to fund these accounts. Let's say I want to fund this account that I named high leverage. Well, I just click transfer and then I click Bitcoin here and I click, uh, let's say I want to transfer 0.1 Bitcoin here. I click confirm and there you go. Now I have 0.1 Bitcoin in this sub account, but I still don't have Bitcoin in my Bitcoin trading account. This is something that we have to deal with. So let's click switch here. This means that we are going to uh, switch to this account. If I click here, now you can see that we are now on this high leverage sub account. This is very convenient because I didn't have to create a new email and a new um, account. I just created a sub account. Very, very easy. Now I have to click assets up here. And if I go to assets, you can see that I have 0 0.1 Bitcoin in my spot wallet. But remember, if I want to do uh, leverage trading, I need to go to contract trading and I need to fund my Bitcoin trading account. So that's what I'm going to do here for my sub account. I click all, I click confirm. And now I have 0.1 Bitcoin in my Bitcoin trade account. So now we can go back to contract trading. I go over to this uh, trading view. And let's say we want to um, trade Bitcoin with leverage here. And yeah, it's the same process. Let's say we're doing $100 worth. We want to sell Bitcoin, which is fine. We just click confirm. There you go. Now I have a short position worth $100. So now you can see my short position down here, but you don't see my other Bitcoin long position. And that's because it's up here on my main account. So I click up here to my sub account. I click switch account. I go to my main account. And there you go. Here is my uh, long position on Bitcoin and my short position on Ethereum.
This is a super simple way to have several positions open and I'm very happy that Femex was able to do this in such a smooth way. All right, let's go to my other account here that I called low leverage. Well, you can see here that if I want to, uh, let's say I want to trade Ethereum here, you can see that I cannot click here. It says buy long, sell short, but I cannot click anything. It's because I, I have no available balance. We have to fix that. So let's go back here. Let's click sub accounts. Now we're back to this page. And now we have to switch back to our main account to so click switch. And now that I am on my main account, I can click transfer here to my low leverage sub account. I click right there. Let's say I want to transfer 0.1 Bitcoin. I click confirm. Now I have 0.1 Bitcoin. But if I want to trade Ethereum, I need to fund my US dollar trading account, not my Bitcoin trading account. So first we have to switch to our sub account. We click switch right there. Now I'm on my low leverage sub account. I just call it low leverage because I use low leverage positions here. Now we can see that um, I have nothing in my US dollar trading account and I need something there to trade Ethereum. So we have to fix that. Click assets up here. And now we can see that in this sub account, we have 0.1 Bitcoin in our spot wallet. So we can do spot trading with this, but we need to fund our contract trade accounts here to uh, uh, trade Bitcoin or Ethereum and to trade these altcoins, Chainlink and uh, and gold, for example, we need to fund this US dollar trade account. So I click fund US dollar trade account and we uh, fund, uh, yeah, we can just click all here and then we get quotation and we click confirm and there you go. Now this margin balance says $1,000 approximately. Now we can go back to contract trading we can go over and select market. Let's say we want to trade Ethereum. Uh, actually, let's trade gold this time on leverage. Now, let's say we want to do a $100 position worth of gold. And let's say we want to do a limit order. And we want to um, sell gold at $2,000. Let's say that's where we want to sell. And uh, we want to trade gold with a 10x leverage. We click sell short. We check all of our details here, make sure the estimated liquidation price is something that you are fine with. And here you can see the liquidation price is 2,190. So I'm going to put in a stop loss here at uh, 2,150 because this will trigger before the liquidation price, which makes sure that I cannot get liquidated. We press confirm. And there you go. Of course, you cannot see any position here because the position is not open yet. It's over here under active orders. Here you can see that uh, Femex will sell 100 contract worth of gold at $2,000. And uh, if we go over to this trading view here yet again, you can see our position up here. Let's say I changed my mind. I want to sell gold at uh, 1970 then that's fine. I just put it down like that. Now, let me just go through all of the different order types in a very quick summarized way here. Here we have the limit order. Remember, you want to try to use limit order as much as possible because limit orders, they give you a rebate. If you use the market order, then you pay a fee. Why? Well, when you use the market order, you're just taking the best price from the order book here and you're taking liquidity out of the order book. If you use the limit order, then your order will be submitted into the order book and you will have to wait until your uh, order is filled. Basically, Femix wants as many limit orders as possible here because that populates the order book with the volume, with liquidity, and that's a good thing. When you use the market order, you're taking liquidity from the order book. So. Uh, you pay a fee for market, you get paid with a limit order. So try to use limit order as much as possible. And Bitcoin is currently here at uh, 11,000 approximately. If you want to buy when Bitcoin goes down to 10,000, use a limit order. Um, if you want to rush into a position, if uh, Bitcoin is breaking out or breaking down, use a market order, um, but only in uh, rare circumstances when you really uh, are in a rush. Conditional orders, that's a different thing. So Bitcoin is at 11,000. Let's say you want to buy when Bitcoin goes above $12,000. In that case, you need to put in a conditional order. You can use a limit conditional or a market conditional. It's called a conditional because basically it's condition based. You will enter into a position based on a condition. For example, we set the condition here. Let's say we want to buy when Bitcoin goes above $12,000. We want to buy uh, 200 contracts. And uh, on 3x leverage, then click buy uh, here. You click uh, and then you click confirm. 
And there you go. Now we have an order up here at 12,000. So if Bitcoin goes up there, then we will enter into a position. The same goes for a short position. And let's do a limit short here. Let's say we want to short when Bitcoin goes below $5,000. We have to put this at the same 5,000. And uh, we do 200 contracts. And then we click sell right there. We click confirm. And if we now zoom down here and look at this, we can see that we have a sell order down here at $5,000. Uh, for 200 contracts. And like I said in the beginning of this video, if you scroll down below this video, you will find my Femix affiliate link. You will get $200 bonus if you sign up with my link. Now, if you are looking for Femix alternatives, I've listed my top three alternatives to Femix down below. You have Bybit, Dudex, and Prime XBT. Now, just like Femix, these other exchanges, they will also give you a bonus if you use my link down below. Down here, you can see the deposit requirements for all all of these different exchanges. And actually, my Bybit tutorial over on my channel is the most popular Bybit tutorial on YouTube by far. The tutorial is popping up on top of the screen right now if you want to go and watch it. Now, let's talk about Femix Premium. But before I do that, I just want to thank you everyone for liking my videos here on my channel. Let's see if we can push this video all the way up to 5,000 likes together. And if you are not one of my subscribers, feel free to click subscribe, click this bell and press all. I upload daily videos about Bitcoin. Now, let's talk about Femix Premium. Zero cryptocurrency trading fees. This is very, very cool. So here you have the different features if you are a standard user, if you are a premium trial users, which is the trial you're getting seven days from when you sign up to an account through my link. However, look at this. This is the full premium user and all the features that you are getting. And as a full premium user, when you're spot trading on Femix, you will have zero trading fees for web and app. And you get 0.1% taker and maker fee for API. You can also trade spot with uh, support for conditional orders. But that's not all. Look at this. If you have the premium membership, you can get hourly withdrawals. Now, this might sound like nothing spectacular, but if you look at all of the other derivatives exchanges, BitMEX, for example, you can only withdraw once per day. Most competitors have that. You can only withdraw once per day. And some other competitors might have three times per day. But with this full premium membership, you get hourly withdrawals. This makes Femix unique yet again. And if you scroll down, you can see the pricing for the full premium membership. For one year, it's only $70, which means that you're paying only $0.19 per day. And let's just compare with other exchanges. If you trade spot on Coinbase, you will pay 0.5% fee. On Huobi, you will pay 0.2%. Poloniex and Binance, respectively, you can see there. On Femix, like I said, you have no fees, zero fees. It's a subscription-based model. So this means that you pay only $0.19 US dollars per day to be able to trade transact without any fees so it only takes a few trades for you to profit from this membership. Another interesting feature on Femix is that you can buy digital assets with just one click. If you click here, you want to buy Bitcoin, for example. Let's say you want to buy $200 worth of Bitcoin. You can click buy now and you can use different uh, payment options here, Visa, MasterCard, bank transfer, SIPA, and all of these different uh, options are available for you. This is yet another feature that makes Femix stand out from its competitors. And if you are a beginner, you should definitely click here, products and simulated trading. If you click there, you will be taken over to the Femix test net. Make sure to trade without any real money before you start trading if you are a beginner. Trading is very, very risky and beginners generally lose money in the beginning. So you might as well try without money in the beginning just to get comfortable with the platform and with how to trade. If you have friends that might want to trade on Femix, you can go up here and click invite friends. You will earn rewards that Femix give you as a thank you for referring people over to their platform. Now, if you have an audience out there, if you have a YouTube channel or something like that, you can click the all-star program. Here you can earn up to 50% commissions on all trading fees collected from your audience. This is a great way to earn some passive income. If you wanna know more about the fees on Femix, go up here and click fees and conditions. You will end up on this page. 
And here you can see the different withdrawal fees for the different coins. So this is the uh, Bitcoin withdrawal fee, one US dollar tether for withdrawing US dollar tether, and so on. You can see all of the different fees right there. Now, if we click spot trading here, you can see that there are zero fees for premium users on web or app and 0.1% fees for API. So make sure to get Femix Premium to start trading on spot with zero fees. Let's go to contract trading. Here we can see all of the fees for leveraged trading. So here you have Bitcoin against US dollar settled in Bitcoin, quoted in US dollar. The taker fee is 0.075% and the maker fee is uh, negative 0.025%. This is exactly what the competitors have. Bybit has the exact same, Bitmix has the exact same. Most derivatives exchanges in crypto have the this exact fee structure. So what does it mean that it's a negative maker uh, fee? This means that you get paid actually to put in a maker order or a limit order. Taker is the uh, market order and you have to pay a fee to take liquidity from the order book. But basically this maker rebate is Femix paying you to um, put these orders. That's why you should always try to make limit orders and not market orders. You can see that the fee structure is the same for all of these different derivatives pairs. Is Femix a safe platform to trade on? Well, Femix is currently led by eight former Morgan Stanley executives. And uh, you can actually go to the website and you can see uh, the whole team here. Jack Tao is the CEO. You can read about his uh, background right there. You have Yang Du. You have Cecilia Wong, Federico Variola. So the team behind Femix is not only quite impressive, but it's also completely public. And how about the security on Femix? Well, let's take a look at the wallet security they have. Femix has designed and implemented a hierarchical deterministic cold wallet system which assigns separate cold wallet deposit addresses to each other. All the deposits are periodically gathered in the company's multi-signature cold wallet via offline signature. So all crypto is stored offline in cold storage. That's very, very good for security. And Femix processes withdrawal requests three times per day. But just like I said earlier in this video, if you have Femix Premium, you can actually withdraw every single hour of the day. That is very, very good because the competitors, they simply cannot do that. And user account security. It is very important that you activate your two-factor authentication mechanism to protect your account. This means that no one will be able to hack your account and steal your funds. And the trading engine safety is also very important so you don't get any big bugs when you're trading. And according to Femix, they have developed their own recovery system that gives the users 99.99% high availability. Personally, I cannot verify that that's true, but that is what they claim themselves. And if you want to reach out to the customer support, just click this little chat box down here, enter your name, your email, and your message, and then click start chat. The customer support on Femix is very, very good. You can also click support up here and click the help center. And over here in the help center, you will find all the answers to the most common questions. And there's a whole lot of very, very valuable information here. Make sure to check it out. And before I end this video, I want to give a shout out to this person who left this comment three months ago asking for a Femix tutorial. And I told this person down here, sure, I can make a Femix tutorial if your comment gets 100 likes. Well, this comment got 130 likes. So this is why I am now making this tutorial. If you enjoyed the content in today's video, feel free to support me with a like. It is totally free to leave a like and leave a comment down below. All of your engagement helps out a lot. If you have any questions about this exchange, about how to trade, or any other type of suggestion for me, uh, future videos, leave them down below. I will be monitoring all of your comments. I will be answering your comments. Thank you so much for watching. And guys, if you are one of the only people in the whole world who never saw this video, then please just click right there, right now, and I will see you guys in the next video.